You've just finished inking the most beautiful page. Everything looks right and tight. And the only thing that would kick it up a couple more notches is color. Also, you kind of promised your editors that it's going to be a color book. So you open up your page in Photoshop. And before you can get to the fun stuff, the rendering, the effects, all the goodies, you gotta flat it. Lasso, then fill. Lasso, then fill. Marquee, then fill. And then lasso, and then fill. But what if? Lasso and fill. Kyle Webster has done just that. He has created a Photoshop plugin that automatically fills any shape you make with the lasso tool. Let's dive in. So the way we traditionally work our flats, we have our page here. We do a selection and then fill. Then we do another selection. And then fill. If we're really clever, we'll do a selection. And we've mapped it to a macro key. Bam, fill. Those extra steps, those extra key presses take a little bit of time. It's not such a big deal on a small panel like this, but those key presses add up. We want to optimize things as much as possible, so let's start over. We're going to go to our Lasso Fill plugin, turn it on, and watch the magic commence. we got to start with the biggest objects in our scene, go from white to tight, and I'll show you why in just a second. So we'll lay this down. Bam! Look at that. Change the color. When you're flatting, it doesn't really matter what colors you choose, because when you go to render it, you're going to change those anyway. Black that off. Bam, new color. We're going to start cutting in the girls. There's a panel line here in this molding, and I kind of want to separate this shape. If I do it with the plugin turned on, let me show you what happens. So we're going to turn that into a yellow thing. Boom. Cross that, kind of be sloppy with our... And it colors in everything. So that's one little feature that you have to be aware of. If you don't catch everything on your first go through, you might want to go back and turn off autofill. So the way I would handle this situation, turn off autofill. I would I maintain the selection, but turn off autofill, hit my bucket tool, then fill. This way the characters are still isolated, but I can add in that background that I missed the first go around. If I wanted to be really clever, You'll notice that the green in between the fingers didn't get filled. So I'm going to turn off contiguous, hit it, bam. And now that area is filled in. But in general, I think the plugin does a great job of making this process go a lot faster. So let me zoom in so I can be a little bit more accurate with my flats. So now I'm at the point where I want to further refine and pull out some of the details in the characters. But that means I have to be very accurate where these borders meet. And the whole point of this plugin is to save time. So what I would do is turn off autofill, select the characters, put them on a separate layer, new layer via copy, boom, and then lock that transparency. And now I can be sloppy on the outsides and cut out the characters a little bit further. One feature I just discovered if you turn on the plugin and you use your magic wand tool if you select a, an area it'll change all of those into uh, a different color so that could be good for when it's time to actually color and you need to change your flats to the appropriate color and not this weird clown shit that should help And now that you've got your flats set up and you're ready to color, you can go back in and change all the shades to what they're supposed to be so that you can actually do your rendering and all that kind of good stuff. So this plugin works a treat. A combination of turning it on and turning it off will help tremendously for speeding up your flatting workflow. There we go. Much less clown makeup. And now we can get to rendering and do all that fun stuff. Hopefully you can see the benefits of lasso fill for your flatting workflow. Anytime you can get rid of key presses or having to program macro keys or any funky stuff like that, 
it speeds up the time and time is money which means you can flat more pages and send them out to colorists and get more work and all that good stuff but there's one other thing that lasso fill is excellent for concept drawing turn this on and uh we're just gonna start i'm gonna start on a new layer in case i want to lock off transparency but let's see what we can come up with I think that's gonna do it for now. Uh, <laughs> I think it looks weird enough. Drawing with lasso fill really makes you think about the overall silhouette and the planes of an object. You kind of break it down in 3D in your head and then try to represent it in your sketch. And the nice thing is once you've got a good base, you can go back and render it with all the brushes that you usually paint with. Lasso fill is five bucks. It's very simple, it's very powerful. It does what it says it does. It's compatible with the current versions of Photoshop. I'm not sure how far back the compatibility goes because Kyle developed it for the current ones. If you're not currently a Photoshop user, I don't think this particular plugin is going to entice you enough to jump you into the system. The concepts are universal when you're drawing, thinking about the big shapes and breaking objects down into planes and, and then rendering those. Lasso Fill does it quicker than some of the other programs, but you could do the same thing in Clip Studio Paint or any other program that has a lasso tool. Or if you want to get the same effect, but without a lasso, just use a really, really, really big brush and just go <laughs> If you are a current Photoshop user and you're looking for something that could help speed up parts of your coloring workflow for comics, or if you're looking for a fun tool to play around with for concept designs, I think Lasso Fill is a good plugin to look at. Five bucks, you're already subscribing to Photoshop. The plugin is a one-time purchase, which doesn't happen often in, in Adobe land, so that's pretty nice. This is not sponsored by Kyle. I'm just always on the lookout for tools that will help speed up and might be helpful for you. So check it out. If there are other tools or plugins that you use that really help optimize, please let me know in the comments wherever you see this. All right. Hope you're having a safe and happy new year and go out there and make some cool shit.